بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, Welcome my dear uh, students of grade uh, 11 uh, grade 10 uh, Today inshallah we'll continue uh, talking about the cell ultrastructure We have some questions here today we have some questions about the cell structure and we want to answer them uh, If we start with the first, with the first question The opposite figure illustrates the opposite figure illustrate uh, yeah, welcome everybody, welcome Yusuf, welcome Mason. How are you fine? Yes. Uh, to, today inshallah we'll solve some questions and we will continue, okay? Okay. We we'll start solving some questions on the lesson. And uh, then we will continue discussion, inshallah, about the cell ultrastructure, uh, the rest of components of the cell. Now I have uh, the first question here. The opposite figure illustrates a part of the spirogyra algae. Spirogyra algae, you know, it is a long thread uh, of algae, contain one cell only, but uh, many cells in one a line or in one thread okay so it has many cells in the same thread but its thickness is one cell only so it is very long it is very long it is very long like this but it is made of one cell only and it is divided by many sections divided by main sections like this many cells like this they are a a long thread of cells, unicellular, but it is a long thread of unicellular cells, okay? So this is the, the spirogyria algae, the spirogyria algae, okay? And it has a spiral, it, its name comes from a spiral, a, a spiral, a, a spiral uh, plastid or green plastid, its shape is a spiral like this, like this, a green plastid, very long green plastid, and it, is a, it has a spiral shape. And there is a nucleus A, there is a nucleus in each cell. Here a nucleus, we have here a nucleus, and we have here a nucleus, and so on. We have a nucleus in each cell, okay? And then this is the shape of spirogyra algae. This is the shape of spirogyra algae, a long thread with one, one chloroplast, very long chloroplast, but there they are many separations. Uh, cells have many separations, okay? Okay, now the question is, the opposite figure illustrates a part of spirogyra algae on its examining under the microscope. Study it, then answer. The structure X, the structure X, as you see here, X. This is structure, this is structure. The wall separate between the two cells, okay? Separate between a separate between two neighboring cells. Consists of what? Carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, or phospholipids. So we have here the wall separate between two cells. This is a plant cell. The algae is a, like a plant. So it is a cell wall. We have here a cell wall. What does a cell wall made of? You remember? Who knows? You know, Mazen? It's made of cellulose, okay? The cell wall is made of cellulose type. What? Cellulose made of? A cellulose, we know it is made of what? It is a complex what? Sugar. And so it will be protein or carbohydrates or lipids or phospholipids. Yeah, you said. Uh, it will be? Carbohydrates, is it okay? Yes. Right. It will be what? It will be uh, carbohydrates because it is made of a, it is made of uh, cellulose and we know cellulose is a, cellulose is a mono, uh, polysaccharide or a complex sugar. Is it okay?
Uh, I need you, Yusuf, to read the second question. Can you read? Uh, here, the building unit of a the, that entered in the structure of X, glucose or amino acids or fatty acids of glycerol. Who can answer? Uh, we know that it is the cell wall, and we know that the cell wall is made of cellulose. Uh, what does the cellulose made of? Glucose. Oh, very good. Very good message. It is made of a building unit, glucose. Thank you very much. It is glucose, made of a glucose. It is a polysaccharide. And the polysaccharide is made of smaller units, uh, which are a glucose. Okay. Let's read, uh, let's read the third question. Are you ready to read? Yes, that's true. X contains chemical of chemically consists chemically of what? By um, B. Huh? B. It, uh, it contains chemically of what? Ya tara el building yo bitatu biological micromolecules or biological macromolecules or biological macro and ma micromolecules. Molecules or inorganic molecule? Yeah, I'm talking about cellulose. I'm talking about cellulose. building unit of glucose. The glucose is made of the building unit of the glucose. Made the cellulose. The glucose is a micromolecule or a macromolecule? Huh? فكر شوية. أكيد واحدة من الاثنين دول. ها؟ أه؟ بقول لك الماكرو مولكيول الجلوكوز، أنا بتكلم كيميكالي ذا بيلدينج يونت أوف إيه. يعني بتكلم عن الجلوكوز، يبقى أنا بتكلم عن مايكرو مولكيول ولا ولا ماكرو مولكيول؟ ها؟ أه؟ Glucose is what? Glucose is what? Micro. Glucose is what? Micro. Is it okay? Because it is only uh, one uh, unit only. It is a simple sugar. So it is micro. Okay? Is it okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's move to another question. And now we have Omar. Are you ready, Omar, to read the next question? Omar Ashraf, yeah. are you ready? Uh, what's the question? Uh, number four. Um, four. The structure Y refers to. Look at the drawing again. Look at the figure again. Why? What is it? Nucleus. Oh, this is a nucleus. Very good. Now let's see the answers. Let's see the answers. Uh, green plastids or nucleus or uh, nucleus or sub vacuole. It is a, of course, it is nu nucleus. Thank you, Omar. Thank you, Omar, very much. Thank you very much. Now we have Omar Hussein. Are you ready to read the next question? Welcome, Omar Hussein. Uh, read, please. Which is the fine substance is one that shape of complexion. Uh, which of the following substance determine the shape of the corn a plant cell? Which uh, makes the, the cell, give the cell a shape? What is it? It is a cell membrane or it is a cell wall? Huh? 
Which give the cell its shape? A membrane or the wall? A second membrane. La, it is the cell wall. The game which gave the cell its shape, it is the cell wall. Fine. Which of them represents the cell wall? Protein and cellulose, lipids and protein, lipids only, cellulose only. Cell wall is made of what? Huh? Mm. Cell wall is made of cellulose. Remember? Cell wall is made of a cellulose. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we we'll move to another question. We we'll move now to another question. We have here a figure of plant cell and animal cell. We have a figure of plant cell and animal cell. From the two opposite figures, the part number one and two have the same characteristics. Okay, part one and two, yeah, and cell wall and cell membrane, plasma membrane. Okay. Uh, have the same characteristic of the following ones, which is what is the same characteristic? They present uh, the the presence of pores. The presence of pores. Okay, of course not because only the cell wall has pores. The separation between the cell content and its surrounding medium, or co of course also not. They are not similar in this characteristic. Uh, the cell wall separates the cell from the other cells, not the cell membrane. It controls the passage of substances. Well, uh, the liquid state of each of them. Ah. ممكن نكون برضو بنتكلم عن السيباريشن بين the cell and the other cells أو surrounding medium ممكن الاثنين يكونوا لهم نفس ال function دي يا شباب separating between a the cells and the other medium separating between the cell and the other medium the surrounding medium لكن ده في ال plant cell ولكن ده في ال animal cell. بيعمل separating between the cell and the other a the surrounding medium. Okay? لكن اللي بيعمل control لل passage of substances هو ال plasma membrane law number two. واللي هاب liquid state برضه ال plasma membrane. واللي عنده pores هو ال cell wall. وبالتالي الاختيار الصحيح separation between the cell content and the aids surrounding a medium. Is it okay? Okay, let's move to the next question. This figure, opposite figure, represents a part of the living cell. Study it, then answer. Which, taban, which part of this figure attach with the cell organelles? Mean في دول بيتلامس مع cell organelles. يا ترى two اللي هو الهيد بتاع الفوسفور تو لايرز اوف فوسفور ليبي طبعا احنا عارفين الشيب ده بتاع ايه؟ احنا عارفين الشيب دوت بتاع ايه؟ اللي هو عباره عن ايه؟ البلازما ميمبرين الدبل فوسفور ليبيد لاير الدبل فوسفور ليبيد لاير الباي ليبيد فوسفور ليبيد لاير عندنا ايه بقى؟ عندنا الاختيارات تو الهيد اوف ذا الهيد اوف ذا فوسفور ليبيد لاير ولا 3 اللي هو سايتوسكيليتون ولا 4 اللي هو كوليسترول ولا 1 اللي هي البروتين جيتس. Anybody knows which one of them attached to the cell organelles? Uh, I think it is uh, number one because the protein gates allow the entrance of some substances allow the entrance of some substances through it, so it is can, can be attached to a, the components of the cell. It can be attached to some components of the cell, like green plastic uh, or like the mitochondria. So the answer will be the protein gates or the protein molecules, which can be attached uh, to the cell organ. Is it okay? 
Now we can answer more questions. Uh, which of the following parts of the has a role in choosing certain substance to enter the cell? One or two or three or four. Choosing what enters the cell? Yes, also, it is a protein gate. The protein gates or this uh, label one, choose what enters the cell. Also here, the, the protein gates choose what enters the cell and what doesn't enter the cell. Here, number one, uh, the part of the protein gates allow the passage of some substances which is a cell need. So the answer will be also number one. The answer will be number one. Is it okay? Okay, I need Yusuf to read. Are you ready, Yusuf? Okay, yes. Uh, three, yes. Uh, the previous uh, figure consists of uh, compounds. Uh, homogeneous compound, heterogeneous compound, homogeneous and heterogeneous compounds, similar compounds. Mm. Uh, what can you say? Uh, A. Homogeneous compounds. Very good. Homogeneous compounds is correct. They contain a homogeneous compounds because the, the, the building of a phospholipid. It's made of phospholipid. This is a homogeneous compound. Okay. And now, uh, number uh, five, we can choose the uh, mazin. Can you read this mazin? Um, read, read. The hormones are secreted from the endocrine glands and are released directly into the blood. But they affect some cells that recognize the hormones. By what? By plasma membrane phospholipid, or the plasma membrane protein, or the cell secretion, or the plasma membrane cholesterol. قلنا مين اللي بينقي ويختار الحاجات اللي تدخل؟ ال الفوسفوليبيدز لازم الفوسفوليبيدز تختار الهرمون عشان تدخل؟ أه لا لا تبقى مناسبة بين بروتينز بروتين هي الجيت اللي بتسمح بدخول بعض المواد وتمنع مواد أخرى ماشي الكلام؟ طيب ماشي تعال نروح نروح لإيه سؤال كمان. Uh, the complex lipids that enter is uh, entered in the structure of the plasma membrane is or are phospholipid ولا cholesterol ولا waxes ولا steroids يا نعمة. Can you answer this question يا نعمة? The lipids, the complex lipids. Yes. The, the complex lipids, which is the complex lipids, which uh, enter the structure of the plasma membrane, phospholipid or cholesterol or wax or steroids. We say before it is made up double, lip, double layer of A. Very good, Yanam. Phospholipid. Thank you, Yanam. Thank you very much. It is double layer by phospholipid layer. It's called by phospholipid layer. Is it okay? Now we can go to another question. Which of the following figure represents the plasma membrane of the cell? It is very easy. Can you answer it, Omar Ashraf? Can you see this? Uh, number uh, number uh, seven. Uh, C, very good, my son. C is correct. We have double layer of phospholipid and we have protein gates. The structure of the cell membrane, double layer of phospholipid and protein gates inside it. Is it, it is correct. Thank you, my son. Thank you very much, Omar. Let's go to... Um, Omar, uh, the other Omar, Omar, you see. 
from those that figure out is the reason of uh, obstructing uh, the movement of protein molecules from the side of the Oh, uh, here obstruction. Yeah, yani obstruction. Yeah, yani prevent. Haga bkemna. Prevent. Ah, uh, the the entrance of these molecules to the cell. La tara tib a temperature, wala pH value, wala size of molecules, wala concentration of molecules. I think concentration. Yeah, concentration is correct because a. Uh, it is like you put some sugar in water. It will dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. At a certain time, it will uh, be saturated. It will be saturated. Now, the cell is saturated with these molecules. It, it cannot accept more. It will not accept a uh, more. Now, uh, we have another question. The two layers of phospholipid in the plasma membrane face to each other through Face to each other through. He lamps of Adam A, the Ablo Badam A. Yatara men in a hydrophonic tail, while a hydrophonic head, while a hydrophobic head, while a hydrophobic tail. You remember the tail is hydrophonic or hydrophobic? It is hydrophobic. The tail is hydrophobic. As you see here, the tail is a hydrophobic. Water heat, the tail is hydrophobic, water heat. But the head is hydrophobic, water lover. So they are facing each other by the tail. The tail is, the tail is what? The tail is uh, hydrophobic. It hates water, it hates water, okay? So the correct answer is what? Hydrophobic tail. Is it okay? Now we have the last question. The last question. Then we go to uh, continue our list. Which of the following choices represents the structure of the plasma membrane of the plant cell? Plant cell. Okay. It has carbohydrates, has proteins, doesn't have uh, simple lipids. It has complex lipids and it has lipid derivatives. Five. Let's take it together, Mama. And then. الكربوهيدرات موجودة السيليروز وك... وكمان في شوجر البروتين موجود اللي هو البروتين جيتس السيمبل ليبيد مش موجودة صحيح كومبلكس ليبيدز موجودة اللي هي الفوسفوليبيدز والليبيد ديريفيتيفز موجودة اللي هي الكوليسترول يبقى أنا كده بتكلم عن إجابة واضح إن هي صحيحة يبقى أنا بتكلم عن إجابة واضح إن هي صحيحة نمبر A is correct we have carbohydrates we have proteins we don't have simple lipids. We, we have uh, complex lipids, they have possible lipids, and we have lipid deriv derivatives or uh, derivatives, which is a cholesterol. This is the structure of a, the structure of the uh, plasma membrane. Let's go now back to our uh, lesson to continue. To continue our lesson, I will leave you to continue solving your by your own, inshallah, and send me. I hope you send me, okay, the answers, and I will check it for you, okay? Uh, continue the cell structure. We go inside the cell now. We go inside the cell. We go talking about the cytoplasm, the cytoplasm, the liquid of life, the cytoplasm, the liquid of the cell. Inside the cell membrane, what inside the cell membrane? Uh, inside the cell membrane, there is a cytoplasm. And what else? Also, we have the nucleus. So inside the cell, there is a nucleus and what? And the cytoplasm. So the cytoplasm is the liquid which fills the cell. The liquid which fills the cell. It is called a cytoplasm. This liquid which fills the cell is called a cytoplasm. Okay? This liquid is the cytoplasm here. The cytoplasm here inside the cell is a semi-liquid or fluid, fluid-like. The cytoplasm contains many organelles. It fills the space between the cell membrane and the nucleus. This space is filled with a this space is filled with cytoplasm. We have here 
we can draw it like a liquid like this, like a liquid like this. And it many, many organelles are found a, in the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm, the, the, the major component of it is water. The major component of it is a water, so it is a liquid. And they contain all the cell organelles inside it, okay? It is a semi-liquid substance that composed of uh, mainly of water and some organic and inorganic substances. It has some organic and some inorganic uh, substances. It contains what? It contains cytoskeleton. What is a cytos cytoskeleton? It is uh, like canals or like skeleton of a... It is like canals, many canals or tubes inside a microtubules inside a, a cell, like this, like this, like this. This is the cytoskeleton, which supports the cell, keeps the cell a, have the same size and they have the same shape. This is the cytoskeleton, okay? Uh, it, it, the network contains a microbials, microbi uh, microtubules, which acquire Uh, which a uh, acquire the cell uh, with the support and maintaining the shape and the form they have the shack cell with the winner and work as a passage uh, transport to transport different substances from the play one place to another in the cell if a beer is a transporting can they a metal and packet ينقل بعض المواد من مكان لمكان اخر يبقى السيتوسكيلتون ده سبورت ذا سيل كيب ات هاف ا سيرتن شيب اند اولسو هيلب ان ترانسبورتينج سبستانسز فروم وان بليس تو انذر هيلب ان ترانسبورتينج سبستانسز فروم وان بليس تو اي تو انذر ذا سيل اورجانيلز انسايد ذا سيل ذير از ماني اورجان But we can divide them into two groups, only two groups. We can divide them into two groups. The first group is called non-membranous organelles, and the second group is called membranous organelles. Membranous means it has a membrane. Non-membranous, they don't have a membrane. Is it easy? Non-membranous like what? Like ribosomes, it is non-membranous. The ribosomes, you remember? Uh, they, they help in formation of protein, synthesis of protein, and they are found uh, swimming in the cytoplasm or found on the rafts in the plasmic reticulum. Okay, ribosomes are small, uh, small uh, spheres or small uh, round shaped organelles, and they found in both animal cell and the plant cell. Their function is synthesis of protein, and also is a centrosome, which is found only in the animal cell. The centrosome, which helps in cell division, we have studied in grade uh, nine. If you remember, we have studied in grade nine uh, during the cell division. There is two centrioles. The centrosome divide into two centrioles, and the each centriole is uh, help in the cell division, uh, like this one here and one here, and every one of them help in formation of what? Help in formation of. Do uh, you remember? The spindle fiber, which help in a uh, cutting the or uh, dividing the uh, DNA, dividing the chromosome, and the uh, centrosome help a, in making the spindle fibers. And the spindle spindle fibers help in what help in cell division by dividing the chromosomes into two groups. Okay, this is the centrosome, and the centrosome is a also non-membranous organ. But the, the membranous organelles are many. We have many membranous organelles. Like what? Like what? We have many membranous organelles, like endoplasmic reticulum, it is membranous, yani it has a membrane. Georgi body, also membranous. Lysosomes, membranous. Mitochondria, membranous. Plastids, vacuoles, all of them have a membrane. They separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane. Is it okay? So we call them membranous organs. Let's go to talk about 
uh, one of them, the non-membrane is put before it, we can solve this question. All the following contain membranes, except, Neama, can you read this question? All the following Yes. Ah. And uh, nucleus or cytoplasm, microtubules, the cytoskeleton, or the joint body, or the mitochondria. Mean for all the other members of the membrane. Ah. B. B. فعلًا excellent يا نعمة B إجابة صحيحة correct as cytoplasmic microtubules. لكن the nucleus عنده membrane, joint body عنده membrane, when mitochondria has a membrane. And let's move to the next question. Which of the following? Keep the shape and the structure of the plant cell. Cell wall only, cell membrane only, microtubules in the cytoplasm only, A and C. Can you tell me, uh, Yusuf? Uh, A and C. Excellent. Excellent. A and C is correct. Thank you, Yusuf. Okay. So the microtubules in their cytoskeleton keep the shape of the cell. And also the cell wall keeps the, the shape of the cell. Is it okay? Let's move to talk a little bit about the non-membranous organelles. We start with the ribosome. We start with the ribosome. You remember, if you remember, when we talk about the endoplasmic reticulum, if you remember, if we have a cell like this, and we have an endoplasmic reticulum like this, If we have an endoplasmic reticulum like this around the, the cell found in the cytoplasm, if we have the nucleus here, and there is an endoplasmic reticulum here, okay? If we have here this endoplasmic reticulum like this, connect, for example, between the nucleus and the cytoplasm, connect between the cell and the other cells. If we have here uh, spheres, small spheres, Found here. These spotted spheres are called what? Ribosomes. These small spheres found on the endoplasmic reticulum. And when they are found on the endoplasmic reticulum, we call it a we call it trap endoplasmic reticulum. Okay? And also they can found free in the cytoplasm. They can be found free in the cytoplasm. They can be found here in the cytoplasm in clusters and they are free in clusters like this, okay? So the ribosomes are non-membranous round-shaped organelles. The ribosomes are non-membranous round-shaped organelles like this, free ribosomes, and this a ribosomes on a, the endoplasmic retic. So what is the function and what is the importance of ribosomes? The, the ribosomes, the main function of ribosomes, uh, they, uh, they are the, the, uh, the, the production of protein. They have the, say, the function of production of protein. And you have to remember the ribosomes are produced or made inside the nucleus. The ribosomes are made inside the nucleus, okay? The nucleus of the cell inside the nucleus the ribosomes are made, and they go outside the nucleus, then go to the cytoplasm. And their main function is what? The main function of the uh, ribosomes is production of protein. Their function is producing a protein or enzymes and transported by the endoplasmic reticulum, which are transported by the endoplasmic reticulum. So they are found a lot on the endoplasmic reticulum, because after making the protein, or the enzyme, we need to transfer the protein or the enzyme by the help of the endoplasmic reticulum. We can transfer them outside or to any part of the cell by the help of the endoplasmic reticulum. And also, uh, the, uh, the geology body makes some changes of, a, of this protein. Geology body also helps in making some changes of, on this a 
proteins. So the ribosomes found free in the cytoplasm, single or in clusters, uh, the least number, but the largest number found in a attached to the endoplasmic reticulum uh, and they make it a rough and endoplasmic reticulum. Make it a rough endoplasmic a reticulum. What is the function of the what is the function of a what is the function of ribosomes? The, 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 the main function of ribosomes, protein synthesize or making proteins. They are the center of making proteins. They are the centers of making a proteins in the cell. The center of making protein. They are responsible for synthesizing all protein in the cell. Not only the protein, but also the hormones, sometimes the hormones or the enzymes. Okay? Now we are going to centrosome. Centrosomes, we have talked before about them. The centrosome, the centrosome found in animal cell only. And you can see the centrosome here. It is like a tube. Uh, it is like a, a tube. Consists of many, many uh, small tubules. Consists of many microtubules. Every uh, centrosome is made up of two centrioles. Every centrosome is made up of a two centrioles. This is centrioles number one, and this is centrioles number two. And during the cell division, every centrioles migrate to one pole of the cell. Every centrioles migrate uh, to one pole of the cell. Why? To help the information of a spindle fibers and the help in the cell division. Remember, they make the, the spindle fibers and they help in the cell division to divide the chromosomes into two groups. So the centrosome or the two centrioles, function, the main function is the cell division, help in formation of spindle fibers to help in division of the, of the chromosomes. And there are two uh, partners, two centrioles. There are two partners or two centrioles and have, each one of them is made of a, a group of uh, microtubules, nine groups of microtubules that are arranged in triple, triplets in cylindrical shape. يعني إيه triplets؟ يعني كل three كده مع بعض. لو خدت بالك هنا كده كل three tubules كده مع بعض هنا. هذه three أهو وهذه three تانية أهو. وهذه 3 تانية اهو يبقى كل 3 مع بعض اسمها تريبلت اوكي سو اف ذي ار 9 اند افري وان اوف ذيم ميد اوف 3 سو ذا توتال نمبر ويل بي وات هاو ماني مايكرو تيوبيولز؟ ات ويل بي 27 فيري جود ات ويل بي 27 اوكي مايكرو تيوبيولز ات ويل بي 27 بيكوز ذي ار 9 اند افري وان اوف ذيم ميد اوف 3 so they are a 27. Is it okay? Arrange it in a cylindrical shape. And their function, of course, a, is a, the function is the formation of a spindle fibers uh, during the cell division, formation of the spindle fibers, which are filaments, which extend between, they extend between the two centrioles uh, present in each pool of the cell. These centrioles withdraw the chromosomes towards a, the cell pool, help in the cell division by dividing the, the, the chromosomes into two groups. And also the function in formation of flagella and the cilia. Formation of flagella and a cilia, okay? Now we have no time more, no more time. Uh, we'll end our session today, ya shabab. Thank you very much. I hope you continue reading and uh, solving more questions about this. Until we meet again, thank you and goodbye. Have a good night, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. I hope you solve more questions and send me, okay?